Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the WordPress Multilingual SEO. Here I show you the search console that I have and how it had helped me to have an international website with multilingual uh, plugin because I am now aiming for um, different languages on my content. And as you can see here, honestly, if I have only, have only focused on Spanish speaking countries, probably I wouldn't get these extra clicks from different co countries that are beside uh, Mexico and any other Spanish speaking such Colombia. And as you can see, ma mainly the traffic of my website has come from India. And honestly, thanks to the Indian visitors that I have on my blog is that I have kept and have gave me like this wheel to continue with my blog because at the beginning, seeing no uh, results on, on search engines, Honestly, it, it pulls you down and honestly changing to a multilingual WordPress website can help you. As you can see now, I'm getting more visitors from the US, also from Germany, France and many other countries, if we can keep further on. So this is just a brief example of how a multilingual SEO plan and strategy can also help your, your website. As you can see, that trend is growing as I keep producing more content and also working a lot with the backlinks that at the end I will talk about some international backlinks that yes, it will help us because since I will go to the test of around 12 months and as you can see here up till probably July is when I started or before Ju uh, early July, I started with the, also a backlink strategy and I have seeing more results but way before i just was concentrating on content and also on international content or and to start talking about what will you need uh, for an international seo strategy and also for a multilingual seo for wordpress of course you will need a plugin i have already talked a lot on how to use wpml and wiglot and to brief mention these two plugins wpml and wiglot are really helpful for any seo because both of them will help you with some important uh, aspects and that you will have to cover if you're aiming for an international market so wpml it's the one that i recommended for content uh, oriented websites and Wiglot for all the e-commerce since it's it's connected via an, an API so it won't you won't have this any problem or issue with compatibility with other plugins or if you have to deactivate some other plugins you don't have to really worry about Wiglot uh, WPML yes it's compatible but sometimes if you have to de deactivate it it might uh, crash a little bit your website will, or some parts of the uh, back end of your WordPress. But to continue this example of how to run a multilingual SEO here in WordPress, I'm, I'm, I'm using as an example my, my blog and I'm going directly to talk about the URL format because as you're beginning or if you already are running your website, and if you want to aim for international markets, you can do it in different, uh, following different strategies. And one is either you, you have subfolders, like for example, I have slash AR for Arabic language uh, content, or if you have like for German, it will be DE and so on. And this is one of the most recommended because you're keeping all your backlink strategies under one domain. So if you were, a sm you have a small team or you have a, a reduced budget, then you will probably try to prefer to aim for growing first uh, one of your domains and eventually you can change uh, to a different domain languages. And uh, using this strategy, you can either use um, subdomains or different domains that will end with dot de dot fr and so on according to the language that you're aiming and that will be even a more uh, targeted to the country that you're aiming so it will be even better for search engines or at least it will be even more knowledgeable this is one of the big recommendations that you have to uh, decide what could be uh, best for you
following up if we go here in the settings area on WPML and if you have the advanced translation editor you can follow up the installation process on the WPML review video but going straight forward I'm also going to talk about the page URL the URL slug translation because you need and I just do recommend also in Wiglot it's possible but you need an, the advanced plan to translate the URL but to have uh, this option uh, in the advanced translation you have to or I do recommend the translate uh, setting here activated so that you can actually change it from the advanced and I have here one example of one blog post I already have uh, rank math installed of if you don't know what's rank math it's another SEO plugin for WordPress probably for the SEO community and the big trend that it's now everyone's starting to move to rank math because even the free version has a lot to offer the pro version also has the schema the schema markup that you can easily add but talking about the international SEO as any other SEO plugin you will have to write your title and also change your uh, URL slug if you're aiming here I'm not really optimizing but I will say that I, I'm aiming for trends in digital marketing and I have it here in the description and also I'm adding this focus keyword so that I can at least follow up the recommendations of to aim for a better but right now it's just as an example and if we go to the advanced translation editor you can do it uh, from your dashboard you will see here in the first lines that you will have the rank math description the keyword and also you will see here the title these will be the ones that will appear for the search engines and when you're aiming for the international SEO of course it's important to have an, an accurate translation as for example here in WPML they're using Deepool which is a better trans translation engine that it's even more accurate so the translation is better but if you're doing also with some other native uh, speakers of the language that you're aiming then it will be also an even better translation but here in the example I want to show you that in the description I already have what it could be one of the keywords in the Spanish language I have it here in the description and I also have it here on the title so in that way you're also focusing your keyword uh, to your international market and also another important aspect is the URL here we have it translated here it will automatically add the slashes or if you want to add it by yourself but I also have here again the translation so you will save and you will have the both, uh, both pages in English, Spanish or any other language and of course, uh, if you're also following the basic sales stuff, you also will need to work on your on your H1s, H2 title tags and so on. The optimization of the words inside of the content, the length of the content and so on. But that's more of the focus on the basic sale. Another important stuff or thing to mention when we are talking about the multilingual SEO is to have the HRE flanks. In this case, the use of WPML adds automatically the HRE flanks. So as you can see here, we have the English, per English version and the Spanish version. So we don't actually have to do anything here. It's everything done automatically. Also with Wiglot, it states the canonical tags. So in this way, uh, we are telling two crawlers that there is an English version and a Spanish version and a German and so on and there will be uh, and this will help also to the sitemap to prove that we have different content and that we don't have to actually with the use of these plugins to do anything else so let me go here to rank math to the sitemap settings so that you can see here is a message the, the thing that i'm telling you that rank math generates automatically the sitemap and wpml takes care of the rest so when a search engine bot visits any posts it will be shown the HRE flank tag. So in the crawling, you don't have to really worry about that. So coming back here to the code of the page, 
we can see here in the English version that in the title, we have here the one in English and the description that we have given. Also in the Spanish, we see here the Spanish title and the Spanish version. So this will be the one that the crawlers will read and eventually they should shoot, show. But also another important recommendation that I'm giving you is to do that your keyword research on the targeted language. If you're having SEMrush, uh, it's a really good tool. Uber suggests you can get some results for free. This is one of from Neil Patel is really recommended. And now going to the backlink sales strategy. There are different website services that can help you with the link building. Fat Joe is one of it and also the Hoth, but these are mainly oriented more, I think for, or I can say that for the US market or the UK market and well, for the Spanish speaking uh, countries or they here in public suites, they also have sponsored posts where you can also start building your backlinks from mainly from Spanish speaking countries and also get Linko. That's also a, a company from Barcelona and Spain. But uh, as I have seen, they are mainly Spanish speaking. So if you're from another country and if you have some other recommendation of some other international pack links websites, please write on the comments. And in overall, this is some tips that I can give you that I, that have helped me to build up my performance on the international SEO. And as you can see, it's slowly and steady growing. So I hope that even in the future, it's it's growing even more. So if you have some any more comments, if I have missed something, don't hesitate to write. Thanks for watching.